Joining me is uh, Andy Williams. Uh, felt like an important victory that one today. Yeah, I think every victory, uh, victory is an important one. But yeah, so that was our aim at the start. You know, we were up there in the playoffs where we want to be now, and uh, it's important to stay there, especially over Christmas. So. Yeah, it didn't go the way we wanted in the first half, but the boys dug deep and showed the character we got in the dressing room and uh, two incredible goals won us the game. Yeah, you must be encouraged with it being a fight back. Yeah, definitely. I think it's always good to show that, you know, you, you can win sort of nice and pretty and, and then come from behind and still win games as well. And you know, I think we've got that in abundance here. I don't think there's ever going to be a question about our character and the way we keep digging deep. And, uh, yeah, we just needed a couple of bits of magic to get us back in the game today. Looks so the consistency is coming now. Yeah, I think it was always going to take a little bit of time to, to rebuild a whole group of players. And uh, I think the gaffer's really put his mark on the team. And you can see every game, you know, everyone gives their all. And that was just going to, it was going to take a little bit of time to probably show some consistency in our results. But the, the performances were growing and growing and growing. And like you say, now we're starting to show and get the results that we deserve as well. And how much are you encouraged to, to get back onto the pitch? Yeah, delighted. Obviously, it's been far too long, but... Uh, yeah, absolutely delighted here to, to get back out there and get on the pitch and, and help the team win the game. And uh, yeah, just buzzing. It's been a long time coming. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out there again now. And I guess for you, it's a case, it's a case of getting minutes now, minutes to build up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I think the gaffer was probably a bit, a bit wary about giving me minutes uh, initially, but I felt like I was ready and I told him I felt like I was ready. I think uh, Last week's training, I probably wasn't quite there, but this week I definitely felt a lot more at it and a lot more with it and felt like I could come on and make an impact in the game. And yeah, I'd like to think I, I sort of did that in probably not the way I wanted to. I was envisaging coming on scoring the winner, but yeah, that cow's out the glory this week. Yeah, what a, what a story that would be over <laughs> the Christmas period. But um, talking about the crowd, uh, you know all about an Edgar Street crowd, but there seems to be real passion uh, amongst the, the setup now. Yeah, I think we spoke about it then, me and PD at the end. The, the atmosphere at the end of the game was unbelievable and that's probably the best we've had this season so far. And uh, yeah, I, I think if we can get the, them behind us like we have done and get the place rocking, it, 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 no one will come here and play us at, at our home. And uh, that's what we've got to keep doing and, and, and get them behind us and get them with us. And I think at the moment, the, the spirit and the atmosphere around the place is incredible. Because it, it, it's a good marker against Spenny Moore. They're always there or there about a tough team to play against. They were always in the match, for, you know, and um, you managed to get get through in the end. Yeah, I was very impressed with them. I, I know they're not on a great run, but they're, they're a good team and I think they'll be up there come the end. You know, it's one of the better teams we played this season. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a real marker for, for where we've got to. And uh, it's important now that we go into the Christmas period and don't take our foot off the gas. You know, we've got a couple of tricky local derby against the same team. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep the run going. Yeah, obviously Gloucester, yeah. Uh, 4G surface. Back to back with the home game back here, and um, so two different challenges. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, uh, a lot of people talk about the surface at the end of the day. So that you know, a football match with two goals at the end of the pitch and the ball in the middle. So you know, we, what we've got to do, and you know, it, it's not ideal to probably play on the surface. That, but obviously, it has the implications for the club. It helps them out as a team, and it means they don't need someone to look after the pitch and so save them money. I expect. <laughs> now, because you've been on the sidelines, you've been able to watch this squad sort of growing character uh, throughout the season. I just get the impression there's still a lot more to come. Yeah, hopefully. You know, it, it, it's an incredible atmosphere in and around the place. They, well, when we're in, in in the evenings and, yeah, it, it, it's a good atmosphere. And I really do think that there's a lot of lads that are growing into it as well. So, you know, we've got quite a few that have come from lower down to, to step up. And I know there was probably a few getting used to the crowd and getting used to the way things are done, but they're all thriving in at the moment. I think they're enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully they just continue to grow and, and we grow as a team. Well, good luck, because I think mm. there's probably a goal from Andy Williams to come very yeah. shortly. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Thanks for your time. Thank you.